time to put LEDs in the marquee. Let's get started. First thing, if you don't have a lock, we'll just pop this sucker up. Since we want to keep the original fluorescent, I'm just going to stick an LED on top of the bulb. It's, it has uh, a lot of these will just have adhesive on the back. So just run adhesive, stick it on there, run your wires down. All right, drop in your LED, solder in some wires, run them straight down. All right, so I, I followed the original fluorescents. They're just wired in here. You can just disconnect it. That way the fluorescents aren't running. Now these are connected to this little power supply here. Now this is not the original power supply for the U4, but I guess the original one died. I got it with this aftermarket power supply you can get. So then I'm just gonna tap into the 12 volts and the, uh, and the negative to power my LEDs from this thing and you're good to go. And there you go, LED lit. Don't have to worry. It's not like the American ones where you can, when you select a game, it changes color. So it doesn't have that functionality. It just wasn't designed on this cabinet. But it's cool like that. I prefer it this way anyways. <clears throat> and so pretty quick and easy way to LED it without messing with the original stuff. This is what I like to do. So I'll leave the original there. And then if they want to use back the original stuff, very simple to do.